Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video is what I'm calling an after plan with me. I find out that after I do a digital plan setup, it looks blank because you don't see the appointments filled in and you don't see what was done during the week. Not that that's in, for you to know, but I just like the look of a planner when it's productive and it's full. The setup is great. You know, when it's bare, you get to see it, but then when it's filled in, it just looks so productive and it helps me to reflect and look back over my week to see what kind of week I had and then to share with you guys just how it looks in its full completeness. So I am in my Planner Girl Meek Planner, which I use for social media and church. And I just keep track of the different shops that I share on Instagram or YouTube, or uh, I do brainstorming in this planner. There's a note section up top and I'll split the page in half and I'll have one for videos that I want to do and another half for digital videos that I want to do just to kind of keep track because I get inspired so much by sermons that my pastor preach or something that I've read or something that someone has said and I have to capture the moment so I'll write it down and then when I can get to it, I can just sit down, meditate on the word, and then come up with a video and study it out and read it and pray over it. And then hopefully bless you guys by ministering to you that word. And then, uh, like I said, I'm using my Planet Girl Meek Planner. I'm sorry, I was just caught in another thought. And I am using this beautiful kit. This one was a freebie. I did buy another tutti fruity or fruity tutti um kit from calypso's creative planning but this was her freebie in her freebie vault so you have to check her out i like her elements that she has they look very realistic and almost 3d ish and i like the way that looks so i am using that freebie and i am going to also incorporate some of the girls that i like from like illustrated faith or the faithful heart shop and a rustic farm chick. I love her word art and different icons for daily use and things like that. And she has a faith section. So I use those words. So I just like to mix it up on the planner and just have fun with it. And then when it turns out in the end, it looks really nice. And I just enjoy the process. It's very therapeutic for me. It's cathartic. I like idea of just relaxing and it can be time consuming at times but when you have a plan in your mind so to speak you can do it or you just free ball it just do it and just fill it with whatever kits you have you could do it physically or digitally that like I do it and again it's just relaxing and it's fun um, if you don't get overwhelmed with it okay but thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal or digitally journal so can you if you have any questions please feel free to ask me below take care I love watching digital planner videos. I'm not sure where I saw this. I have so many that I watch and admire so much, but I've noticed that some people add text boxes, like larger text boxes on top of the weekly sections. I guess it just adds more character to the page. And I also use it as a form of like a quick note. And I just like the way it looks. It doesn't always have to be boxy, 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 like the three rows of boxes, but I can put a box on top of a box and type in there and or write in there, or if there's nothing that was done on that day, I think on that Monday and Tuesday, I didn't have much to do. So I think I filled it in with some elements and some wording and things like that. And um, I'm enjoying it. I just like trying different things, whether it's a physical planner or Bible or if it's digital just to just the creativity just to spark that creativity in the mind and get those brain cells moving and, and, and growing and just like I said just trying different things so I really like the way the big boxes are there and I enjoy that so you will see that again.
another good thing about digital journaling or digital planning is that when you don't like where something is placed, you can easily pick it up and there's no glue or no stickers. You're not pulling or breaking off any pieces of paper, but you can just kind of move them around. And sometimes during the week, if something, if I put an icon, let's say over there on Friday the 11th where the, the young lady is from the Faithful Heart Shop up in the corner, the yellow box, Let's say I did do something on that day. See, I'm just planning ahead of time and I don't know what's happening during the week. I can just move her, put in what I need to put in and put her in another spot. So it really works out well. This was a last minute entry. I wanted to share with you guys something. This is my Calypso's one month planner that I'm using for the summertime. Even though it's only one month, I'm using it throughout the months and I'm showing you my self-care kind of workout section. I imported this black page into this planner. It's part of her inserts and I put it in this planner. It's really actually on top of a blank page and that's what my week looks like when I work out. What I'm showing you is I'm trying to decide if this is going to be the format that I go like the big boxes which helps me to keep track of what I'm doing physically or how I'm feeling that day and then I can put some little icons and wording in there I like to decorate it like that and I like that and now I'm trying a new setup which is a freebie from Calypso's planner the Trudy Fruity that you just saw, this was one of the freebies. And I like the fact that it has a blank page on one side and then I can put the dates on the other because I like to decorate with icons, but also I need typing space to put down what I've done as far as working out or how I felt that day. Now the space here, the horizontal is not as big and I don't know which format I like, so I wanted to share with you guys both pages and you let me know which one you think is best or maybe I can alternate it and sometimes I'll do this kind of spread or sometimes I'll do the the black spread I'll see but you can let me know what you think if you will and if you like the page and that's it I just needed your opinion on it and I wanted to show you how I set up my workout slash self-care for the week I don't want to have a separate planner it's hard to keep up with I kind of want to put it in with my weekly or daily planning, but it's just not enough writing space for me to put down what I need to do for the day, plus how I'm feeling, plus on top of working out, it's just not enough space and I don't know, I'm kind of stuck. So I just wanted to share with you guys. So let me know your opinion if you like to, but if not, I hope you enjoy this process as well. Take care and I hope you're inspired and encouraged by this video, bye. And oh, this kit, is from Print, Pray, and Slay. And um, she has two skin tones. There's a light skin tone and there's a dark skin tone. And it's Faith and Fitness, which I love. And if you go to printpraysslay.com and use code SHERRY15, you can get 15% off of anything in her shop. So check out her shop. She has a great, great items there. And I really, I love her shop. So hop on over there if you're new, if you haven't been there. And use the coupon code started in the description box below. Save a couple of dollars. It works. It pays off. Every cent counts. Have a great week. Bye. Here is the final product. I have to remember to leave space for writing and not put too many elements on. And I'm going to see how the end of the week turns out. And I'll show you guys the next time I do a plan with me how it turned out and which one I personally liked. Take care.